Hey everyone, and welcome back to Chaos Gate the Demon Hunters. So, we got another mission to do right here. Same objective as in the previous one. Eliminate all seed carriers. And uh, we can get more requisition by winning the mission with no critical injuries. Uh, that should be fine, we can do that. We also got some new gear in the previous mission. Or rather, after the previous mission. We can use that now. And I do have enough requisition to maybe get one more knight. We could get a rank 1 interceptor. We only have one interceptor right now. I think that's actually going to be useful. So I will pay two requisition to get one more knight, that's fine. Now we can bring all four of these guys down here. Sounds good to me. Let's just grab them right away. Here you go. Wait, did this guy have... Yeah, he did have ability points to spend. Uh, right, let's not do that just yet. I just want to swap them all real quick. Rugen. Here you go, and one more. Force. Done. Okay, that's... No, that's not all of them. One more. Sorak. Here. That's all of them. And now, let's see. We have one Justy car. Let's check him out real quick. He can use Terminator armor. And that's what we want on him, our new one. Got a loadout armor. So this is going to be a bit better. It will have plus 20% resistance, which is a chance to cancel afflictions. And in the future, we'll be able to upgrade it. But we can't do that just yet. But this is still a better version of the default Terminator armor. And then we have a better staff. We can use that on someone. I think I'd rather keep the hammer on the joystick car here. So let's check others. Oh yeah, and uh, let's check the abilities here. What do I actually want? A good question, good question. Let me think about this one. Uh, we could unlock the silencer. Uh, well, not right now, no. Plus one damage, plus two willpower. Four strikes gained, plus one damage. So this is teleport. Oh, there is a really interesting ability right here. Teleport strike. Select any number of targets and a valid destination within 10 range to teleport and deal 4 damage to all targets. This is actually really nice. And we could also just go for support fire later on. Yeah, so let's go left because both of these options, up and down, uh, are pretty damn nice. So this way we will get plus 2 maximum willpower immediately and the teleport immediately. Sounds good to me. And let's check his gear real quick. So I could give him uh, the better stuff here. So it does do a bit more damage with force strike. Yep, sounds good. Uh, let's use that. Here you go. Anything else? Probably not. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, can anyone here equip a better ranged weapon? Yes, actually they can. I would like at least one person uh, to have a better ranged weapon. So I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, it could be this guy. Yeah, okay, he can grab it. So he can use the Psy Cannon. I really like it. I really like this AoE here. It's been very useful in a lot of situations. Hey, what's Disrupted? Okay, hold on. I need to check what Disrupted is. I actually cannot open uh, the menu from this level. Oh. Uh -huh. uh, Psy Cannon. I still can't open it. I need to leave the screen entirely. I want to check what the Disrupted is, because I'm actually not sure what is Disrupted. 
Afflicted target cannot trigger their auto abilities. Okay. Good to know. Let's do this again. And what's the third ranged weapon here? Oh yeah, the incinerator. Uh, I'm sticking with the cannon here. So, since we don't have an apothecary in this group, we should definitely bring at least one servo skull here for healing. Maybe two, but definitely at least one. Thing is, I need to swap out a grenade to bring one, and I really like my grenades. <laughs> I do, I can't help it, alright? Grenades are nice. What does this guy have? Okay, he has arcane weapons. Deplete all ammunition. Target a knight at any range who gains plus one damage per two ammo for their next ranged attack. Interesting. Yeah, okay, that is quite nice. So that probably means we want to keep uh, the Storm Bolter. Well, no. Uh, ideally, we would like the Silencer, because it has 4 ammo. So that is potentially up to plus 2 damage, because it's plus 1 per 2 ammo. Scatter Shot. Target a spread attack over 45 arc at 7 range and deal plus one damage per two ammo. Yeah, okay, let's grab the silencer on this guy, that's fine. Okay, now we're ready, I think. Yep, let's go then. This should be fun. Indicates the sons of the putrid eye use these roads as a base of operation. Another foul cult of Nurgle. There is little doubt we will find more of these seeds below. Brothers, advance. All right, here we are. Interesting looking map. That's a big pit in the middle. All right, eliminate all seed carriers. One over here. That's pretty damn close. Let's go then. Uh, maybe not too aggressively. I don't think I want to trigger them yet. But we'll move about as close as we can. Oh, I, apparently I did trigger them. All right. I suppose that's fine at all. Maybe slightly inconvenient. This will be illuminating, Commander. Right, so stratagems are ready here. I'm not using that yet. So let's see. At your command. I can play this quite aggressively. I don't have to worry about getting melee kills. So we could just throw a grenade. I think I might just throw a grenade here. How far can we throw it? Uh, okay, pretty damn far. Yes. The only problem is that if they shot this thing over here, it would blow up in my face. Which is maybe not ideal. Okay, this is a pretty good grenade here. If we get lucky, at least one of them might get knocked into that pit and get killed instantly. A good chance that will happen. Okay, that's pretty good. Blessed are our arm. Now, I want more kills. How about these guys in the back? Are they close enough to do anything? Uh, yes, actually they are. Affirmative. One of them anyway. Oh yeah, uh, this guy has the arcane weapons thing. I so I could use that if I want to. Released. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Maybe we'll use that instead. Here, a decision of damage for the kill. 
It works at any range, right? Yes, any range. We don't even need to have direct line of sight. Is it actually is useful for me right now? Eh, okay, perhaps, perhaps. I think I could kill this guy with extra two damage. Maybe. I can't tell for sure, to be honest. What's his max health here? A five. So I will kill him with extra two damage. Yes. All right, let's use it then. Now that will deplete my ammunition, but I can just reload on the next turn. And this way we'll make our guy way more useful. Okay, now we can take a shot with the Cybolt and that will be a kill. Perfect. Got his ass. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, this guy is ranged, but he's very far away. I think the best I can do is Overwatch. I really don't like using anything that can explode as cover. On the way. Oh, I can kill this thing. Works for me. Gods, grant me and then we can overwatch still. Here. I'm pretty sure we'll get to shoot one of them. <laughs> yep. Nice. So there was one guy with ranged, and that's it. Oh, uh, okay, he shot twice. I might want to use that skull <laughs> uh, right now, I guess. Yeah, might as well just use it. Here you go. Since our objective here is to not let anyone get critically wounded. Alright. Well, this should be easy. Uh, I'm out of ammunition, but I can reload. Yep, that's enough for a kill. Uh, somebody else can kill the other one. That will do. Hammer to the face. Yes, Commander. No, don't set destination. Why would I want to do that? He dead. Now our arcane weapons guy needs to reload because he has no ammunition. Oh wait, uh, he did reload. Okay, never mind. Let's just move on then. It will be done. Unleash me. Yeah, we can move fairly aggressively here, I think. The other group was quite far away. Yes, sir. Yeah, this is the other group. Yes, Commander. I assume there's going to be at least one more patrol around here. Most likely. Rugen. Okay, this feels quite aggressive, but uh, you're meant to be aggressive, all right? Yeah. Praise the emperor. This is fine. Forty percent. Here. All right, people, let's move on. No time to waste. I sent something near. Uh, yep, we got enemy patrol. Uh, that's far enough. I don't think we have to worry about that. At your command. No, probably not. We can probably trigger the seed carrier group. Oh, never mind. We did trigger them. Okay, okay. We'll handle them then. Uh, I can blow them up. Uh, this is actually perfect. Yep, blow them up. Let's do it. Nice. 
Now, they might be a little bit too far away until finish them off here, unfortunately. Uh, okay, yeah, they are definitely too far away. Probably no point using Overwatch here. Uh, they won't move close enough to trigger it. I don't think I want to use Teleport either. I don't have enough action points. So just use the shield. Yeah, let's just use the shield and move closer with the others. Reload. I'm not in range to attack any of them. Okay, I could the move up quite aggressively with one guy. This is full cover, so it should be perfectly fine. Yep. That should make it easier to hit them from the flank. Okay, suppression. Yeah, I will have to move out of here, but that's alright. Here's a good target. So I'll probably want to move after hitting him anyway. Hey, what if we shoot him? No, that's not gonna work. Oh, I can't even kill him. Right, fair enough. Nurgle cultist. Right. Yeah, this is not a whole lot of damage. Uh, to be fair, uh, this guy only has a really basic melee attack because he's using the 200 ranged weapon. Okay, let's move out of that explosion and just take a shot here, probably. I want at least one kill. Justice. And then I can back up a little bit. Although, yeah, I could stand here to have cover against this cultist. I will not get hit by the explosion. And the other dudes cannot flank me either, not if I stand right here. At least it doesn't seem like it. It should be safe. Alright, how do we do this then? I don't really want to trigger the other group just yet, but I need to move closer to be able to do anything. I'm a bit out of range here. Now, I can use the two extra action points anytime I want, but I don't think this is the right moment to do this. I can move in and take a shot and then move out. So I think that's what we'll do. It, will be it won't be a whole lot of damage because we'll take the penalty, but it will still be some damage. If I use Psychic on slot, it will damage them both. Just not enough to kill them. But still good damage. So let's just do that. Here, that's pretty nice. And then we can do it again. In fact, I can just use Psychic on slot again, and that will kill them both. Heck yeah! It will cost me more willpower, and I will increase warp surge risk to 75, but I think that was the right move. And now... I think I can still kill this fella right here. Yes, I can. This is like two health. Alright, let's go. Aye, sir. That leaves us with that one cultist on the right side. I can't quite kill him on this turn. Uh, nope, I cannot. Best we can do is overwatch, I think. So let's just overwatch here. It's just one guy left now. So 
that shouldn't hit us. Uh, I guess it will destroy the cover. Wait, Overwatch didn't affect him. Uh, oh, it's like angled up or something. Uh, Alright. Doesn't matter, he'll die anyway. I don't want to waste too much time. So, what's the best way to kill him here? What is your will? Uh, right here. So that will use one action point. Then we can take a shot. I could just use one willpower to kill him, but that seems like a bit of a waste. Still, we have five out of five. And we'll hit 100% warp surge risk on the next turn anyway. So this will, in a sense, actually save me time. Because now I can move towards the other seed carrier faster. Let's do that. As you will. Because that's our objective. Standing ready. Alright, let's go everyone. So there they are. <laughs> now we could use the plus two action points. Uh, that's probably the best moment to do that. And throw a grenade. Uh, I might have to move closer. Uh, hold on a second. Yeah, I need to move a little bit closer to throw it. Which is fine. I uh, have one guy in the back. What is your will? So I can move closer, then throw the grenade, and then use arcane weapons, perhaps. It will be done. Something like that. Uh, this should be a ton of damage, because there's this exploding whatever the heck that is. So I can hit all of them, and make that blow up at the same time. Yep, sounds good. Go, go, go. <laughs> that is actually perfect. And now maybe we can create the seed carrier with my life. Uh, all right, first let's finish them off. Oh, this is actually in range. Yeah, that works too. Down you go. That leaves us with two enemies. We can hit the seed carrier a little bit. Standing ready. Uh, hold that ready thought. Okay, the other one is out of range, so let's in just hit him mind. here. Yeah! And we'll finish him off with Mala on the next turn. With me, my brother. I think this guy can get a granted crit. No, he can't. It's the other Justicar who's currently wounded. Uh, I actually do not want Overwatch. Yeah, yeah, I do not want Overwatch here. Okay, there's the Warp Surge. Plague Zombies appear for the next three turns. Okay. I am here to serve. Interesting. And we got plagued. So, two damage per turn. A bit inconvenient, but alright. Well then. Unleash me. Can anyone? Yes. Uh, we can finish him with one attack here. I'll get plagued, I guess, but that was kind of hard to do without getting plagued. Now we have to survive for three turns to get teleported out. So I'll probably run away from the reinforcements here, because that makes more sense than fighting them. Yeah, I think so. I guess we can just run across this plague. I'm not entirely sure how I want to do this.
Yeah, there are some additional uh, effects here. I'll be burning if I run through here. Which it seems is going to happen anyway. I could run in this direction, that's also an option. Okay, I think I'll be burning regardless. I think that's what it means. I don't think that's the plague. Because I already have the plague. I'm actually a little bit confused what this icon means. Unleash me. Hmm. I don't know about Here's this. Commander. I guess I can Here's just kill them. Okay, whatever, let's just kill them. I hope I won't regret this. Vengeance. Hopefully I will not. Another falls to the Knights of Titan. I have one AP. I don't want to move into, like, at least some kind of cover, if possible. And that might be tough. Kill it. Okay, now we need to hold for three turns. One more zombie to kill. Your command. And that will kill it. Affirmative. I do not like this plague effect we at all. Not a whole lot of cover here. So let's just run as much as we can in this direction. I am with you. Here you go. I don't think I want to use Quicksilver yet. At your command. Do I? Okay, maybe I do. Let's go. I can only use it on one person, so it would likely be this guy. Is it better to move into cover or is it better to use the shield? It would be best to move into full cover, but it would be even better to move out of range. But I likely cannot move out of range. So I could stand over here. The third group was... yeah, the third group will flank me. It's not great. Okay, let's stand over here. Hopefully I won't regret this. Uh, that's a patrol. Uh, this might get nasty, actually, because that is quite a lot of reinforcements and that I'll have to deal with or run away from. Okay, this is actually fine. These are all melee. Uh, that's mostly pox walkers too. Okay, that's good. So we know there's a patrol in the back, right here. Hmm. I can kill all these. At least I think I can. We can blow them up. We still have a grenade. Uh, okay, this would actually be pretty good right here. I think that's what we should do. That will be two explosions, not one. Let's go. Nice. That's actually perfect. Your orders? What's next? We do have arcane weapons ready and waiting. I am here to serve. Hmm. Maybe we can get a nice AoE. Uh, I think we can. Hold on a second. Yes. I don't even need extra damage. Just use Psychic Onslaught. Got him. Yeah, yeah, you'll get more rounds. It's fine. And now we have the bloated Poxwalker. We can also kill him. That's not a problem here. 
move out of that plague if at all possible. This went fairly well, all things considered. I mean, we're not done yet, but it went pretty well overall. So that leaves us with, with one Poxwalker here. Okay. Now let's move away from the other group. I don't want to be too close. Yeah, just move away as much as possible in this direction and out of the plague. And probably use the shield here. Yep. Uh, move away and use shield. Yeah, we'll take a little bit of extra damage from the plague, but oh well. The plague is pretty nasty. Hey, one more blood and pox. We'll kill him. I think we have at least one more grenade. So might as well use it on the last turn. Okay, this is the last turn. Kill the zombie first. And now I don't want a ranged attack. This is enough. The warp surge doesn't matter at this point, so we might as well just use everything we got. I kill the bloated guy. Oh, I thought he was out of range here. Uh, my bad. Uh, although I don't think it matters too much. I can teleport now uh, to avoid this damage. We can teleport somewhere over here. Yep, sounds good. So that is quite convenient to get out of suppression. And probably just chill, to be honest. Praise the Emperor. Because we'll be out after this turn, I don't really have to kill them. At once. So I don't want to be too aggressive. Okay, that was not my intention to trigger that. But okay. They are too far away to be a threat, fortunately. Let's just get some shields and wait one more turn to get out. The Aegis shields up. Yes, Commander. One more. Fire will be useless. Unleash me. Uh, one more, actually. Okay, that's five on this guy. Uh, let's just move him. I don't want him to be out of cover. I am here. Yes, you. Okay, done. Man, this plague is nasty. Can we get out yet? That would be appreciated. How many active enemies is this now? <laughs> A lot. Yes, all of them. Attack! Kill them all! <laughs> we might still take a little bit of damage here. You cannot but uh, hopefully not. <laughs> okay, no, I don't think we will. Die! 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 The Thanks to the armor. And we're done. Let's get out of here. Give me my extra requisition. Hopefully we'll get a promotion or two. Okay, what can we get? Rank to Apothecary. 
Yes, I think we want an apothecary, especially rank two. And again, it will only cost me one requisition. Uh, let's see. Plus one move speed armor. Okay, interesting. And with another upgrade later, another plus one move speed. Uh, I might pick this up, yeah. Blade of Infernus. When struck with a melee attack, this knight has 50% chance to cancel it. I don't think I want this right now. I might grab the armor. Most speed is always nice. Okay, let's get the armor and rank to apothecary. That will leave us with one requisition. Oh, our barracks are full. Okay, I thought we still have some space. Hmm. Uh, okay. I thought I still had space. Can I not cancel this? I guess I can swap someone out. And ultimately it won't cost me any requisition because we will get that one back and I only paid one for the apothecary. And I do want the apothecary because I only have one on my entire roster at the moment and he will be wanted for 40 more days. I can still bring him, but he won't have max health. So what do we have here? We got four purgators, two justy cards, two interceptors. So let's swap out like this guy, for example. Yeah, the rank one Purgator. Let's swap him out. Yep, done. That looks much better. Yep. Uh, wait, hold on. Yes, I'm sure. Confirm. Uh, that looked a little bit confusing. Uh, was that guy about to get promoted? I don't know, but I wanted that apothecary, all right? Uh, whoops, I didn't pick up the promotion. Force. What do we want here? Okay, now we can pick up honor the chapter. So choose a knight at any range and they gain plus one AP. That is quite good. And we can upgrade that right away. Hmm. So this is crushing charge. Run in a single direction up to 10 tiles to deal one damage. Plus one stun. Okay. And uh, I can't go left. What's this? Extra war gear slot. Okay. Probably makes more sense to pick up Warp Charge. But this is still really good. It's just that the plus one AP upgrade will not use additional willpower, and this will. But it will also make it stronger. And it will then allow us to pick up Crushing Charge if we want to. So, makes sense. Confirm. And, uh, right, we can't do the third mission, so now we'll just chill and wait. Okay, the Interceptor didn't have enough experience for the promotion, but he's pretty close. Let's check the Apothecary really quick. So what does he have here? Uh, Cybold. Uh, no, that's a uh, Willpower, plus two Willpower. Upgraded heal. Another upgraded heal. So activate to give the target plus one AP and plus five heal. And equipment unlock. Extra war gear slot to equip servo skulls. Nice. Yeah, that will definitely be useful. Very useful. Okay, back to the map. And now we probably want to go back to the middle or so. Again, uh, I can't get here in time. 
so not much point going. We just want to chill in the middle uh, to increase our chances of getting as many missions as possible when they spawn. When is the next report coming? We can check that in the armory. Uh, 41 days, okay. So still quite a bit of time. The Augorium is almost repaired, so I'll show you what exactly that does. Okay, done. Commander, my servitors have flagged some interesting chatter from a nearby way station of the Officio Medicae. They appear to have been inoculating their patients against the effects of the blue. Alright, there's the Augorium. So let's see what we want to do next. And we have a few options. Augmentation chamber. So that would give us more servitors over time. We can get plus 30% research speed, plus 20% ship speed. I think we should get stasis chamber, maybe. Hmm. It will only take 12 days and 6 servitors. Meditation chamber, plus 50% experience. Okay, but 24 days. I don't want that. A plus 4 capacity, plus 1 recruit rank for our barracks. That is also really good. Because I will want more knights. That's for sure. So, 12 days. It's a tough decision. Okay, let's upgrade the barracks. Hopefully we won't actually need the stasis chamber in the near future. And upgrading the barracks won't take too much time. And it only uses 4 servitors. And 12 days is not a lot of time. So, and now I can show you uh, what we can do with their prognostic R. So we can use this on a system, and uh, we'll get these bonuses for all adjacent systems. Minus one corruption level when attuned, enemy types detected for missions, and the Blom missions deadlines plus three days. So this will make it easier to reach more missions. And we'll use it here in the middle, I think. There are really, like, two locations where it makes sense to use it. You can get more than one later. But if we use it here, it will affect uh, six systems total. One, two, three, four, seven. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I use it here, it will affect one, two, three, four, five, six, seven as well. So these are the two systems that make sense at the start. I'm thinking this one. Really, it doesn't make that much difference. But let's use it here. Yes, I'm sure. And done. And this one makes slightly more sense because uh, this system over here uh, is already like slightly corrupted. Also, like this one and this one. So what is this? That's our next mission. Let me check that. Uh, can I not check uh, the mission details? And now apparently I cannot. Okay, interesting. I guess that's where we're going. Sure, that's where we're going. If we have to... And this is uh, people recovering. Uh, yeah, new activity. Uh, I think that will have to wait a little. But now we'll have more time to go back. 
Now two of these missions are in range uh, of the prognostic car. So that will give us more time to get there. Plus three days. So we can see, this one has 12 days left. And this one has 14 days left. But first we're going here. Because we have to, I guess. And we're almost there already. I will depart in my frigate and make direct contact myself. With the bloom outbreak so rampant in this area, it could take me some time. Can okay. Not simply seize their records. You have the authority. Such biomancies can be exceedingly complicated. Without examining their patients firsthand, it will be time-consuming to understand their process. Okay, we have a few options. Seize the records on your authority. Interrogate them and learn what you can. Take time to study their process. We may be here for some time. We may be here for a long time. I don't think I want to be here for a long time. Maybe we can afford to be here for a little bit. I don't know what some time means. Like, I have no idea what that means. Three days? Ten days? I don't know. But let's go for this one then. A wise choice. I have prepared my okay, immobilized for four days. Five days. Okay. I guess that's probably fine. We will have time to do at least one mission here. Probably not two missions. Definitely not two missions. But we should be able to reach one at least. It will have nine days left once I'm able to move again. How's the timeline? Okay, few people are recovering. The barracks will be done soon. Let's advance time. Because there's not much else I can do. We're done with the barracks. So we have, what? Six servitors right now. Can I actually do anything with six? Uh, yes, I can. We can get plus 20% ship speed. We can get the augmentation chamber. We probably should, because that will give us more servitors over time. That probably makes the most sense right now. But I'm also tempted to get plus 50% experience here. We will get more servitors from missions. So let's actually get more experience. Can't go wrong with experience. So we're still waiting. Okay, done. Much from the Medicare's inoculation method. New the passive experimental fragile. inoculation. Unaugmented bodies are too fragile to withstand its rigors. All of their patients were either. Yeah, she's a little bit quiet there. By the time I arrived, however. We have been able to apply our learnings from this method to benefit our knights, boosting their psychic resistance against the enemy's afflictions. Okay. Yep, we will get there. <laughs> In time. Just about. So if this wasn't attuned, the mission would expire. I would not have enough time to get there. So that's nice. That's kind of hilarious though, just barely enough time to get here. Uh, well, let's go then. Off you go. Chop chop. I think the next report will be fairly soon as well. What's happening? That these seeds are fragments of some vile artifact saturated with corruption once fused with organic life they spread rapidly from the host afflicting whole populations with a deadly plague all according to the plague god's desires yes but what confounds me is how it spreads so quickly between solar systems i have issued an interdiction order for this sector interplanetary travel will be limited with the emperor's mercy it will buy us some time denial the Baleful Edict is far too damaged to begin a new campaign. And yet it must. This bloom is already ripening, evolving fast towards some dire purpose. Would you truly turn your back on the trillions of souls the Plague God threatens to devour? Never. 
But how do you propose we stop it? This seed radiates a psychic imprint from what I believe to be some kind of origin. With further research, I will be able to pinpoint that location. I would rather we simply purge them. That is the difference between us, Purifier. You are the hammer, but I am the one with the burden to wield it. Destroying it now would silence the only lead we have. If I can prove these seeds all radiate from the same destination, then we can follow that trail and destroy the source of the Bloom's power. Challenge? You said seeds. You deduce much from only one. You are correct, Tech Priest. I need more. One is not sufficient to prove my theory. Commander, you must send out your knights to harvest more. You would have us limp around the sector with more of this corruption in my hold? I agree it is far from ideal, Dominus. But if the Inquisitor can locate the source of this corruption, then I advise we comply with her request. Affirmative. Excellent. We have no time to waste. All right then. So research project complete. Now let's see what we want to research next. What are the options? Missions plus one seed, extractor servo skull. Okay, plus one requisition. And then all the research we had previously. 29 days. I suppose we could grab this one here. And what's this? Enhanced attunement. A plus one stratagem slot. That is nice. I wouldn't mind that, actually. I also need psychic attunement still. In fact, maybe we should do this. That's only 15 days. And it will upgrade the prognostic arts. A minus two corruption in system. And it's required for other research here. Minus 5% warp surge per turn. Okay, let's do this. Psychic attunement. Sounds good. It's only 15 days. We can have a quick you chat. Have work to do. What do you need? How will you use the seeds to find the nexus? You doubt me, Commander. Uh, maybe. That doesn't answer my question. <laughs> the psychic resonance that covers each seed leaves a spore I can follow. The more we collect, the stronger the trail to the nexus. What do you think this nexus is? I do not know where the psychic scent will lead us. Yet. Okay. What I can tell you is that these seeds have been germinating for some time. They require a safe location where the warp has already taken hold in the materium. One that would not readily fall under our scrutiny. Somewhere they could be left undisturbed for centuries. A hundred years. Several hundred, undoubtedly. I will put it plainly, the Lords of Chaos are powerful indeed, but we both know they cannot act in real space with total impunity. This plague has been in the works for a long, long time. Very well. Is this the first time you have worked with the Grey Knights? To be honest, I had doubted your chapter's very existence until recently. It would appear the old adages are true. There is strength in secrecy. And then how did you learn of us? I contacted the Ordo directly for martial support. The only response was a set of coordinates. I followed them and the edict appeared shortly after. You can imagine my surprise. Our return to Titan was unscheduled. How did they know we were here? The Ordo has the best prognosticators. Unrivaled in reading the Emperor's Tarot. Okay. And there are other methods of divination that the ignorant would call heretical. What matters is the Emperor clearly meant for us to intersect. Nurgle's plague must be stopped. Very well. Yes, you right. enough of my time. So, that's that. We can talk with Lunette. A preliminary salutation. Consider this requirement fulfilled. Uh, these fragments are more than a mere seeds. Preliminary analysis suggests their origin lies prior to the Great Heresy. Okay. Further study is required, although the Inquisitor's requirements take precedence. Uh, how can 
an Archaeotech shard spread the disease. Machine spirits can be corrupted by the warp like any show. Okay. Have you encountered such entities? I once had the opportunity to study a predator tank that served the Black Legion. Okay. Affirmative. Uh, you care about this ship, yet it does not belong to the priesthood. Ownership is irrelevant. My duty is to her. You care more for this ship than its retinue. Its storied history eclipses that of anyone currently aboard. This was the ship that carried several Grandmasters earlier in its service. Its storied history eclipses that of anyone currently aboard, and I will avoid her coming to harm at all costs. <laughs> Inefficient. <laughs> Inefficient. Okay, then. The only comparable linguistic term I can reference is annoyed. Alright, fair enough. Interaction is over. Ektar? Come. Let us talk over what troubles you, brother. The Inquisitor wants us to harvest more the seeds. Of working with the Inquisition, brother. You disapprove. The Inquisitor's methodology has proved fruitful. Okay. Let her lead us to this Nexus and we shall fall upon it with the righteous fury of the Emperor himself. By all means. Have you fought the Plague God's minions before? Nurgle is a powerful and detestably creative enemy. Creative? The Plague God does not simply desire death and destruction like Korn. He plays with life, changes it, shifts it into a twisted and corrupted image of his own devising, and his foul works adapt relentlessly to survive. We must purify every last trace of this plague, or it will transform into something new and spread once so, again. We are okay, and that's that. Uh, let's check the barracks real quick. Uh, almost everyone is ready, that's good. So now, if I wanted to, uh, I could get rank 2 apothecary at the cost of 2 requisition. Uh, I don't think that really makes any sense right now. I think I'll be fine without a third one. And if we wait, we'll get a chance to get people for one requisition. So I say we should probably wait a little. Uh, okay, we are not quite there yet. We're almost there. Here. We have arrived. Just in time. So finish the mission before you take 20 damage. The goal is to eliminate all seed carriers. I mean, we can probably do that. Uh, however, uh, we are definitely not doing this in this episode. So thanks for watching uh, the video, I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, to burn the heretics and the YouTube algorithm. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.